Ladies and gentlemen, this is your boy CJ Robinson Jr. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to the show. And today, I want to say thank you for those who just subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate each and every one of y'all, man, for real. You know, I mean, this is something that I've always thought about doing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the thought of becoming a YouTuber uh, <clears throat> crossed my mind around the year of 2016. I was 36 years old at the time, man. But here I am now, uh, 41. You know what I'm saying? Still look the same. The difference is fucking white hair is coming in. So today's topic, y'all, we are going to discuss... Another big win for Mr. Johnny Depp. Mm -mm -mm. Johnny Depp has come a long way. Um, this goes to show that you can't just try to be good to any female and thinking that your that her shit don't stink. I mean, I I should have been married years ago, no, but <clears throat> my. Uh, my girlfriend, my fiance, she was killed in a car accident. You know what I'm saying? That was like back in 04. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to keep it on a positive and happy note today. Amber Heard loses another court case yet again. That's right. Amber Heard, give it up. Stop trying to continue to throw fire and shade at Johnny Depp because you're continuously losing and you will continue to lose. That's all I gotta say about that. Next up, we have imitating Vince McMahon voice. <clears throat> Wait for y'all. Wait for it. I'm Vincent Kennedy McMahon, damn it. The hell with these superstars. I'm selling WWE. You know why? Because you're fired. Now spin down and kiss my grapefruits. Welcome to Vincent Kennedy McMahon's Kiss My Ass Club. I'm turning WWE from Reddit R to Reddit PG for all the children around the globe. You know why? Because I'm Vince McMahon and you're not. Oh, trust me. Man, I make people laugh when I do that. So, guys, um, for the next topic, um... Uh, Yes, my hair is growing finally. It's dried up on more on this side than it is this side, man. But it's getting longer. My shit is growing. New growth coming in. I gotta be doing. I normally keep it covered in most of my videos, but I decided to let my air my hair air out. Got it nicely greased and everything with some spray moisturizer in between. Um, so guys, um, Amber, let's get back to Amber Heard real quick. Yeah, so Amber Heard, I mean, beautiful, talented woman. I mean, I'm not going to knock her beauty. I'm not going to knock how good she is of an actress. But as a human being, Amber Heard, sit your ass down, shut the hell up, and go jump on Tommy Sotomayor Warhol's channel. Because you done lost a lot of fan base. Let's face it. You should have known out of anybody else that we always stuck with Johnny Depp. Us fans, people people like us as Johnny Depp fans have always stuck with Johnny Depp by his side. Maybe not in person, but by his side. And Johnny loves all his fans. You know what I'm saying? We the fans is meek. We're, we're the ones as his fans that makes him and each and every other actor and actress what they are. Same thing with these athletes. Shout out to my cousin Raekwon, man, because I think he just signed this big NFL contract. And he's talking about throwing me some squilla. 
You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to that. I mean, he ain't got to. I told him he ain't got to, man. But he, you no, know, I helped raise him since he was a kid, man. And actually, since he was a baby, he never lets me forget that. Me and my brothers, my sister, you know what I'm saying? So, shout out to my cousin Ray Quine. He about to start doing this thing in the NFL, man. Um, ladies and gentlemen, man, I mean, it is what it is. I'm about to start doing a whole lot of nice, decent content for my channel. Uh, I just got two new subscribers. Um, now, man, this is amazing. Y'all help me reach a thousand or a million subs. Oh my God, that's gonna be even bigger of a blessing, man. Cause then I'll be able to buy me buy me a nice house, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, especially if y'all you know sent, uh, help me with a million subs. Help me with a million subs. I definitely be able to move out of North Carolina, start fresh in California. Uh, you know, as I'm pursuing my acting career and everything. If there are any producers, uh, directors, writers. From any studios that I follow on Twitter, please just hit me up here. My email, you can hit me up my email at RoyRobinsonJr7 at gmail.com. Anybody who's uh, looking for fresh faces and new talent, I'm your guy. Holla at your boy. I got, I got tremendous talent, acting, comedian, whatever. I mean, I've been told I should be a comedian all my life, man, but... I just kept blowing it off. So now it's the time, man. I'm not 44 years old yet, so I still got enough time to get in the game. You know what I'm saying? I'm taking good care of myself the best way I can. Don't want to be one of them 44-year-old niggas all wrinkled up and with my face so wrinkled, my God. You can see the bottom of my... <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, I ain't trying to no, look like that when I turn 44. You know what I'm saying? So when a nigga turn 44, he's still going to look like this, you know? <clears throat> You can't get rid of the white hair. Even when you dye your beard. So, yeah, it's crazy. I just had to cut the shit off. Regardless. You like it or you don't. Right? Anyway, I just look like a junior high school student once more. Um, So, guys, you know, thanks again to all my newest subscribers. Keep subscribing. Keep liking. Keep sharing. You know what I'm saying? We, get, we keeping it popping here on my show. And next topic we are going to discuss. Uh, let me see. We're going to discuss my sister. Yeah, let's talk about my sister. You see, my sister has tremendous talent. She is great. She is good at what she does, just like I am. You know what I'm saying? We both always talk about wanting to become musicians and actors. And, you know, just becoming a celebrity. When I become... An actor, because I know my time's coming, you know what I'm saying? I want my time, I want people to look at me as an entertainer, not a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? I know I'm going to be a celebrity regardless, man, but <clears throat> I feel like, I feel like me being, you know, being an actor that I'm about to become and, you know, doing my YouTube, influencing people to do good, you know, on my channel and bring y'all some of the funniest and greatest content in the near future, you know what I'm saying? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be able to uh, continue to make people laugh, man. And the times that we live in, people need to have a lot of laughter, a lot of smiles on their face, especially the kids, the children. Uh, you know, the, the children is what's most important in my book um, to, for me to see them smiling means a lot to me, you know what I'm saying, so, shout out to Trap House, man, uh, damn, he's calling, he's calling, um, <laughs> damn, Lil Dirt, yeah, man, you, Lil Dirt, let's talk, a, let's talk a little bit about Lil Dirt, man, I'm not, I, I'm not gonna be bashing the young, the young nigga, but, no, I'm gonna say it like this, man, cause I don't know nigga from shit, Lil Dirt, he's a great rapper, I'm not gonna lie, bro, I fuck with the nigga music, man, but, you know, you got some YouTubers on here bashing the man, bashing the young nigga, talking about, oh, his music is demonic, he needs help, um, yeah, they're right about one thing, he, he definitely feel, he definitely seems like he's cursed, you know what I'm saying, I'm not sure, man, I mean, it seems kind of like everybody in close to him gets killed, bro, so, hopefully that's not the case, man. 
prayers up for the man, regardless, man, no matter what the fuck that nigga doing, mind close those. Now, my problem, the nigga still getting his money, and I still like the nigga music. I don't care what nobody say. Lil Durk is still uh, uh, another top, you no know, rapper of this generation that I like, that I fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's go into the next topic real quick, y'all. Um, mm, man, man, man. We're going to do one more Im- imitation of uh, another wrestler. <clears throat> Wait for it, y'all. I am a wrestling god. I am JBL. And I am still your undefeated WWE champion. So, guys, I'm going to give y'all one last imitation of Tommy Soto Mary the Warhol. Check it out. Man, all I do is just sit back, jerk off, cry like a little bitch that I am. I lost my hair as it is. I'm bald head. And I look ugly. I'm third world ugly. Hell, I might as well be fourth world ugly. Damn. Mm-mm-mm. Anyway, guys, um... My name is Tommy Sotomayor de Warhol, and and I approve this message because I'm retarded. All right, y'all. Speaking of which, damn, we everybody knows Tommy Sotomayor de Warhol is retarded. Hey, you shouldn't have started that shit with Kwame Brown, man. You know what I'm saying? Hell, you called me out first. You had you sent one of your goons after me on YouTube. That's what got me literally started on your ass last year ago. Don't forget that, Tommy. I'm not, I'm still not done with you, nigga. Raccoon, black, crusty looking ass nigga. Look like the pavement over here in front of my house, nigga. All right, y'all. Next up, we are going to imitate. I know I said it as imitations, but um, I want to imitate uh, Uncle Rockets. Look at them niggas. Get them filthy ass niggas off my damn yard. I'm Uncle Rockus. <laughs> what was that? You said the niggas are coming? Oh, damn. We gotta get rid of them niggas. <laughs> man, let me quit, man. <laughs> Yo, man. Look, the imitating voices thing, man. Hey, I gotta thank Ivan the Great for, for bringing that, that as absolute. Incredible idea, look, man, because, you no, know, I can't imitate certain voices. No cap. No cap, man. Shout out to Willis One on the internet. Shout out. And Willis One on the internet, you're right. I should not have ever apologized to Mike that chapter or his coon-ass fans who keep talking shit. But, you no, know, this doesn't apply to the fans that forgave me. And, you no, know, and most of them actually subscribe to me. So this only applies to those who... Still talk shit about that old ass video. I'm not taking that video down to you idiots who keep running your mouth. So you might as well get used to it. You don't like it, move on to the next platform. Stop watching that old Mike That Chapter video. I stated my opinions. Yes, blah, blah, blah. I will not apologize just for saying that. Now, with that being said, love y'all. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell game, y'all. Um, there's something else I want to talk about too, but it crossed my mind that quick. Um... Man, hold up, hold up. Before I go, man, yeah, about about that young white boy, and that white girl in the group home that was shooting at the cops. It was it was horrific. It was tragic. Luckily and thankfully, no one got hurt, got killed. Uh, they both in custody where they need to be. The other kid that stabbed that damn young white girl um, in the woods, man. 114 times and the blade breaking off in her skull. Oh my god, man. Yo, what is this world coming to, man? Seriously. They got his dumb ass in prison. You know what I'm saying? Oh, oh yeah, they about to burn him a new one. Just like they're gonna burn, them cops gonna burn them young punk kids a new one too. You know what I'm saying? That was shooting at them. You know, it's sad, man. You gotta blame the parents. You got to blame the parents, people. They're the responsible ones, especially the white boy that stabbed that girl 114 times in the woods, man. 
His mom, I knew his mama had something to do with this shit. I just didn't say nothing about it, man. I'm not psyching anything, but I'm like, well, what if his mom had something to do with it? I mean, it was always his mom. I was thinking, like, since hearing the story, I'm like, I won't think of nothing about the dad, man, just other than where the fuck is the dad at? You no, know, but the mom, she definitely looked like she done did some shit, nigga. Yeah, man. So, you know, I see where we, we, we all see where the, the little nigga, uh, what's is his name, Aiden? gets this shit from, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, if I said it wrong, but I think his name was Agent, anyway, that little, uh, pimple face kid, he's getting exactly what he deserved, and then some, he destroyed the family, my condolences to that little girl's family, man, you know what I'm saying, um, and everyone who's had, uh, uh, family members, whether they were brothers, sisters, or cousins, aunts, or uncles, even, Grandmas and granddaddies. You know what I'm saying? Wives and husbands, even. You know what I'm saying? If it, I mean, if anybody had any type of issues dealing with family members in general who had suicide thoughts, please, guys, please, man. There's always something you can do about that. Help. Help your, help your loved one, man. Keep them close, especially if they're suicidal. This is a little message I, I've been wanting to get out for the longest. Um, I've been around a couple of people that was very suicidal, man. Um, and it kind of turned me into that when I was like 23 years old. Uh, I went through a lot of shit at 23 the most, I believe. But, yeah, man. I mean, suicide is a serious thing, you know. I mean, I don't know how many people that watching my videos are religious or anything, but God says in the Bible, man, he forgives you for everything except for self-murder. You know what I'm saying? If you are suicidal, go seek that damn help you need to seek, pray, ask God to give you strength, keep it trooper, man. You know what I'm saying? If you got someone close to you, friend, whether it's a friend or family member or what, make sure you help them the best way you can help them. No, nobody wants to see their best friend or loved one kill themselves. You no, know, we had too many of those happening on Facebook Live, man. It's sad, man, just because young ass kids getting bullied and all this. That's why I talk to my son as much as possible. You know, teach him how to throw a couple of uh, punches. You know what I'm saying? And how to take a taller guy out. You know, in case somebody try to punk him out in uh, high school. You know, he's about to start high school anyway. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, y'all, just stay safe out here, man. Help help each other. Help one another. And uh, help your boy out, man. Support Ivan the Great. Definitely support Ivan the Great, man. That second interview was was awesome. The first interview was awesome. Uh, realest one on the internet, Laura Shire. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to London. London. Excuse me, I'm talking fast. And, uh, man... Again, y'all, I'm going to bring y'all more content. I, I might do a farm life part three, man. You know what I'm saying? But we'll see. We'll see. No. I don't. I, I'm not the type to, you know, that tries to bully other YouTubers, man. That's bigger than me for that matter. But in Tommy's case, I just, I do the jokes I do on him because I know it pisses him off. But yet, he has not done any videos on me to actually for me to actually see see what I'm saying and if he did he's not gonna let me see so yeah man I'm, I'm just I'm just I'm just me man you know what I'm saying I'm doing me a young and a half Nigerian British and Irish and Indian yeah I'm combined with all that I said it in my DNA and then so Egyptian too by the way uh I got that in my blood too, man. But uh, yeah. Anyway, man, look, y'all just stay safe out there. I just lost train. I just lost train of thought. But uh, y'all stay safe, man. But yeah, uh, I joke on Tommy, cause I know it gets to him, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I meant to say. I I know it gets to him. No, I tried to even get him to let me speak my opinion on over the phone on his show. Hell. He ain't let me do neither. You know, so that goes to show he's a scared little black bitch. 
Raccoon. Hey, Kwame, you right, man. Shout out to Kwame Brown. That nigga do look like a goddamn raccoon, nigga. I ain't no capping on that, bro. No cap. No cap. Yo, shout out to CJ. So cool. It's always good to see a brother taking care of his kid, man. And them other royalty kids. Shout out to uh, shout out to you taking good care of her damn kids and your twins that you got by royalty, man. And your oldest daughter, especially. You know, you're a great dude, man. I've been watching your videos. I've been keeping up with you, CJ. So cool. Maybe we'll do some work in the future if I'm not scheduled to do a big time movie or a small movie role or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But when I get to that millionaire status like you did, you know what I'm saying, with the YouTube thing, you better believe I'm going to take a trip out there. We're going to get together first. Then I'm going to take a trip out there. You know, if you're okay with that, CJ. So cool, man. We can damn, you know, do some, do some, uh, link up, do a whole YouTube video. Uh, bring some new content, come up with some great creative ideas because I'm very good with creating ideas, man. Trust me. So, anyway, y'all, like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. Help your boy reach a thousand, or I'm gunning for at least a hundred thousand subscribers. Believe it or not, I hope that's not asking for too much, but honestly. Guys, I'm going to keep bringing the comedy. I'm going to keep bringing it real. I'm going to keep keeping it real. Straight up. Like, subscribe, hit that notification bell button. Love you guys. Stay safe.